Welcome once again to Entrepreneurship and Innovation. We are going to look at Module 2, Unit 4, which deals with approaches to addressing environmental barriers. Businesses are not easy. And like we have said, there are environmental issues in operating your business because you are not there uh, alone. There are physical obstacles, physical barrier. You have attitude barrier. You still have the policy barrier. The physical barrier uh, deals with uh, even the location of the place, the consignment, the infrastructure concerning the business. Then you have the attitude barrier. It can concern your clients, the competitors, and other stakeholders that are involved in the business. Whether they, you are competing with them, whether they are trying to patronize you, whether you are struggling for raw materials, all these are barriers, they are obstacles. Then you have the policy barrier. It has to do with legal issues or economic policies of the environment. So you need to do and handle all these barriers if you want your business to pro progress. There are different ways of overcoming the barriers. That is addressing the obstacles you encounter. First and foremost, you have to separate the major obstacles from the minor ones. Think in terms of long term. It's not enough to double into any problem that you see. You say you are solving problem. It may be a distraction. You think how to tackle the problem. You communicate in a different way. I, I, I know that I have a friend that uh, had a business in, uh, in different places, but uh, he discovered that the way he was treating the people in the environment where he was uh, staying was different from the one, uh, the way he was treating the people in the environment where he had outlets. As you look at the environment, understand the, the people that are there, understand the culture of the people, understand the behavior of the people, and know how best to communicate to get across to them. Embed sustainability throughout your organization. What do you do to sustain the life of your business? They are all challenges, and you seek how best to overcome them. Improve on your management skill. It's not everybody that is a manager. Managers are trained. There are special skills managers have. They are the people that organize the resources. They plan. They, they organize. They control. They coordinate. So if you want to be the manager of your business, aside from finding the business, apart, apart from being the owner of the business, you have to acquire some management skills. Then you will be willing to take risk in overcoming the barrier. You may disrupt the old business model and embrace the new ones. And finally, it's very important to network. People in similar business with similar spirit, you need to network with them so that whatever discovery anyone makes, you have cross fertilization of ideas because you are facing similar challenges. And finally, you will need to check the barriers that are big problems for you and try to tackle them before 
they get complicated. The ones that are severe problems is what you address. And uh, you, you may even overlook the minor problems and they may fizzle out on their own. Identify the causes and tackle them. For now, bye.